Hello folks, Houston Shelton, Houston Shelton Bees. I finally got it drugged to uh, my bee yard, uh, my horizontal hive. I have a whole new respect um, for Ricky Roark and what he does. Because uh, that thing was heavy, uh, awkward. Um, it, was, uh, it was quite difficult to get down here by myself. So... Uh, <laughs> Uh, a lot of new respect for what Ricky's doing over there at HorizontalBees.com. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I'm still not got my top worked out. Like I said, uh, I, I don't have a lot of things worked out. Uh, but uh, uh, Ricky does have things worked out over there. And uh, and, if you, and if you're wanting to try to get one of these horizontal hives, not this one I built. But Ricky's got all kinds that he's been building. Uh, I did look at his website, and he... Um, He's got some awesome designs over there. Um, uh, he, he's just a great craftsman, guys. And uh, I noticed it said that he uh, um, he's not shipping right now, but he's still taking orders, and that looked like his uh, shipping will pick back up again, I think. Uh, I think it said August at the earliest. So um, if you guys are needing a hive like that uh, and you want Ricky to do it, uh, I recommend you guys go ahead and get your orders in with Ricky. Uh, I know he's put out some uh, coupons and discounts. Um, I really don't know how he how he's even able to do that, uh, but he's an awesome guy. Uh, so go over to his website and check out uh, Ricky Roark at horizontalbees.com. Uh, now, like I said, my top is not. Uh, I've not got my top out. These are just kind of like political signs, though they're not political. They come out of a lawn and garden uh, dumpster, actually. And you know me, I'm always dumpster diving uh, I'll probably end up putting some kind of metal on here uh, on it but uh, that, that's kind of been my hold up me uh, trying to figure out what kind of top uh, um, I didn't really want a flat top but I wanted to get it in the yard because uh, I've got a uh, uh, the swarm that my buddy Boyd gave me um, seems to be doing great and it's definitely needing to come out of that box so I'm gonna put it in, uh, put it in my long hive here, and uh, uh, mainly the reason I built it, I, I didn't have, uh, I really uh, hadn't tried any insulated uh, boxes, so uh, I thought I'd try, you know, my hand at building an insulated box. Um, so it's got uh, an inch and a half of uh, styrofoam. It's it's framed in with. Uh, two by and then three quarters and three quarters but inside that's an inch and a half of foam and I wanted a, a really a super insulated uh, hive uh, so I'm going to try to see if I can uh, we'll just see if it does better here where I'm at uh, of course I put uh, a bottom top entrance in it so I can run a divider board you know and have a hive over here and a hive here and the way I've done it I put a, a side entrance over here so if I want to uh, say put another divider board here I left myself enough room for uh, to have a six frame nook on the end of it here so technically I could put three um, well two two colonies and then a nook in here and but I'm wanting to design the lid different to where I can stack uh, couple of full frame supers on here and a nook a nook list that's what the design and measurements were around uh, two 10 frame hives and one five frame box and they all stick in and they just set right down you know like they, if they were stacked one on top of another um, but uh, and I and I just put a landing board on this is the side entrance and then on the front you can see a bottom two bottoms and two top entrances uh, the chain I used, I uh, even, couldn't even find the right chain I was wanting to do. So this is a uh, choker chain, uh, <laughs> you know, for a, for your dog or something, you know. Uh, but it's working right now, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, but but that's it. And uh, like I said, uh, Ricky does it now. Like I said, I have a whole new respect for what he does. And uh, if you guys are interested in getting you a horizontal hive, uh, I suggest you... Uh, Go check Ricky out, because he's got some really nice hives over there. A lot nicer than mine. And uh, I've I done my design. I've got a couple of Russian 
uh, subscribers, and and they they do hives like this off of a Dedant frame size, but I use the Langstroth size frame. Um, but uh, yeah, that's my uh, start of a horizontal hive. Um, I do have a top bar hive that I ran a couple of times. Uh, I'm not real good with them, but I'm I'm kind of wanting to uh, you know have a couple of different. Uh, couple different things to mess around with here in the yard that's different um, I'll try to show some about the uh, top bar hive as well uh, but I wanted to get bees uh, you know in in my horizontal hive first uh, and uh, see about how I could work my top out and um, get it I mean if this works okay I might just put metal on the top of it uh, you know if it does good maybe build another one change the roof style or whatnot but uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Just a project I've been working on for a while, and I did put it up without the top, and uh, so now it's got somewhat of a top. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, just wanted to share it with you guys. Hope everyone's doing well. And like I said, once again, if you need one of those hives, check out Ricky at HorizontalBees.com, uh, and he he he'll uh, he can tell you a lot more than than what I did about things. Um, so everybody have a great day. Thanks for spending your time here with me. Good health. God bless.